Here is a, a little bit more complicated decoder that has 16 outputs and you choose only one of them. So for 16 you would need 4 inputs and that's going to create the whole table and you would need 16 outputs. So in terms of creating the truth table it is straightforward. I'll just fill out a few so if it's zero this is gonna be zero and everything is gonna be zero this is gonna be one and everything is gonna be zero so it will go all this way so this table will go all the way to one 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 so as you see in the first part there's the first four the first two bits do not change and they are zero zero and the other bits are changing and if you look at if you think about it is in the second part and there's a third part and the fourth part and the third second part a b is gonna be only one zero and this d here is gonna be zero one I actually did a mistake here. Let me let me quickly fix that. So it's not going to be one zero, but it's going to be actually zero zero one. Okay, let's move on now. So you have zero 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 one, then one zero, and one one, and they 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 all have four inputs. So you can actually make the circuit by using a decoder that has an enable signal so you can have a decoder one of four decoder that has an enable signal and let me ha show you how, how, how we would do it so this is your first decoder that let's say let's that has a enable signal so this one actually would go to different enable signals for each of the one of four decoders so you would have four decoders that would have an enable signal so each these enable signals will be triggered by one of the outputs of the first decoder so the first decoder here on the selects only one of the decoder so this is actually a decoder selector in this case it only select a dec dec decoder and then so these would be your first two inputs a and b but then these would be your c and d and all of them would get exactly the same input combination c d c and d this way these outputs these would be zero zero C zero to C three and these would be C four five six seven C eight through nine ten eleven and C twelve to fifteen. 
So let's do one one example. Let's say you have an uh, input combination A, B, C, D. Let's say this is 0, 1, 0, 0. So A, B is 0, 1. Just look at this decoder. If it's 0, 1, then C1 is going to be selected. Because this is 0, 1, that's the number is 1, so this is C1. That means we select this decoder. So this decoder is selected. And now we look at C and D, it's Z, 0, 0. So if this is 0, 0, then the first one, that's C0, but in this case, it is actually C4. And this number actually is 4. So now we created a decoder that is 16 outputs and 4 inputs using 5 104 decoders.